Wheelchair basketball is, is a very dynamic sport and the players will manoeuvre incredibly quickly and with versatility around the court to the point where they'll tilt backwards, they'll roll over, they'll bump into the floor and each other. As Professor Mike Kane explains, wheelchair basketball is not for the faint-hearted. It's fast, rigorous and tough. Mike is director of the world-leading Sports Technology Institute at Loughborough University. Researchers here have been improving seat design for the sport. Thanks to their work, for the first time, some British athletes competing at London 2012 will have custom-made seats to suit their individual requirements. If you were to look at the chairs that will be used in London, they would all look different. The key being that they have not been designed to be generic, but that we've approached each of the individual athletes with a blank canvas and come up with a seat construction that's tailored specifically to them. If you have an athlete that has a trauma to the spinal cord that, that's very high, then often they will have lost the ability to stabilise their trunk. So I'm thinking here about their torso, the, the abdominal area, their lower back. And so they need a seat configuration that's much more supportive around the lumbar area, the lower spine. If on the flip side you look at an athlete and they've got very strong abdominal muscles, their lower back is well conditioned, they're very flexible, they don't need that support and it actually gets in their way. They want to be more manoeuvrable and they have the ability to just almost have a, a stripped down seat where they have the minimal amount of support that promotes the, the biggest range of movement. And there are many nuances within that continuum, but that's perhaps an example of the two most extreme versions. The research labs at the Institute are wonderfully surreal. You can see anything from running shoes being put through their paces on a huge test bed to headless mannequins wearing newly designed clothing. To produce the wheelchair seats, 3D scans of the athletes are taken. Moulding bags, similar to beanbag star seats containing polystyrene balls, are also used to capture the shape of the player when seated. The seat is then made up by hand. Computer-aided design, or CAD as it's known, is then used to refine the shape. Using this prototype, copies of the seat can be quickly produced for testing using an additive manufacturing technique called selective laser sintering, otherwise known as 3D printing. In this, the seat is physically built up layer by layer. Dr Gavin Williams explains more. Initially, what we've used 3D scanning for is capturing the position of the player in their current chair and then capturing the player whilst they've been moulded for their new seat. So that it ensures that we're positioning the player once they've been moulded for their new seat in, in the same position they are in the current seat. It's very difficult to capture their, how they're positioned in terms of seat height and bucket angle, backrest height, those kinds of aspects positioned relative to the, to the wheels. The players that we're dealing with, the elite players, have formed that setup over many years in some cases. So they know that that setup works, that position works. So we need to recreate that exactly. So we, we use 3D scanning to digitize their position. And then once it's in a 3D computer package, um, I can then take measurements accurately. I can then add or take away certain elements, modify very easily features or certain aspects of the seat which help it interface with the frame more effectively. Selective laser sintering or um, 3D printing basically uses a laser to sinter a powder material and it builds it up in very fine layers to recreate the outside shell of the seat. So the finished article, once it's been taken out of the machine, is effectively a exact replication of what was on the computer screen 24 hours earlier. There's different powders or polymers that can re recreate certain plastics. We use one that replicates the flexibility of polypropylene, which gives good flexibility without the brittleness, so it's strong but yet allows flex in certain areas. The significant aspect of the research, according to Gavin, is that it's combining these different processes to produce the tailor-made seats. It's bringing together the, all these technologies into one sports chair. 
the technologies themselves are relatively established. The additive manufacturing techniques we're using aren't new. They've been well established and used extensively um, in areas like the automotive industry. The advantage of, of additive manufacturing mainly is that there's no mold required. So you don't have to make a mold to then make the product. You're making the product directly from the CAD model. So the seat itself, because it's so customized, each seat is completely different. So what we've been able to do is introduce complete customization into the wheelchair, which are already made to measure, but we've introduced a, a new level of, of customization, which the, the players are benefiting from. And so far, the seats seem to be working well for the athletes. We've developed these seats for the GB men and women's team, selected players on, on both sides, on both teams. To the best of our knowledge, um, the no other nation for London will be using this technology. In the tests that we've been doing, we, we, we do some straight line sprint tests and some agility tests, and we are managing to shave vital, albeit tenths of a seconds off those times compared to their current chairs. But in a, in a game like basketball, wheelchair basketball, those kind of short, sharp sprints, twisting and turning, you know, tenths of a second can matter greatly. The research has been developed with UK Sport funding and the work of the Institute is supported by the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. Other partners are the Great Britain Wheelchair Basketball Association, RGK Wheelchairs, Contour 886, BAE Systems, BMW and of course the Standard Life GB Wheelchair Basketball Team. In the long term, the research could also be used to customise seat design for wheelchair users in general, improving comfort and mobility and reducing injuries from pressure sores.